Are you close with your dad? I had never met my dad. You know, wow. Single parent. You never met my dad. So thanks for bringing that up. Um, you, I don't know mine either. <laughs> Mine's name is Joe Rogan. <laughs> Shit, he's out there yeah, someplace. he's out there. Yeah, I've never met my dad. And then I thought people, did you ever want to meet your dad? Did you ever? See, you know what's funny? Mm. My mom. I mean, I met him. I knew him until I was like six. Oh, that's worse. I never knew. So I think that that's when you, if you know him a little bit and then they're gone, that sucks. The but, good but if, thing is it, it made me realize that you can't count on people, but you, you can count on some people. that's trust issues, but man. Yeah, I, did, I definitely that's had trust, trust issues, issues right time. there. But become someone that people count on right. and count on people. That's what you do. I have a tight group of friends. Yeah. Like me and my friends are very close. I get like, it. I would do anything for my friends but, um, and family too. See, I have a certain, but, there's a certain level of loyalty that I have. Because of that, because too. Because of that. Yeah, well, you understand it. Whereas yeah. someone who grows up in a big household filled with people and the family was always there and everybody was there, you might take people for granted a little bit. You know, whereas for me, uh, camaraderie and closeness and all that, that shit means a lot to me. It's very, very important. I remember asking my mom about my dad when I was like, I don't know, 17, 18, you know, and she got really offended. You know, she was like, I raised you. And, you know, oh, and that made me dang. think like, I was like, but women have their secrets. Like they have their things, and I didn't want her to. I never. I don't begrudge her. Pry. I didn't want to pry, and I didn't right. want to find out. Like she, you know, maybe he wanted to be in my life, but my mom was like, right. "No, who knows?" You know, yeah. she. They could, my mom. She could have been vindictive like that, but I don't know. But I didn't hold it against her. But she told me his name, and she was like, "If you want to use this on your own, you know that kind of thing." Mm -hmm. And I had the name for like a week, and then I forgot it, and that told me that it didn't matter. So mm -hmm. I, ever since, I never worried about it. Good for you. Yeah, it's. There's some people that it bothers them for their whole life. And Tell look, you one thing look, will happen though: when you have kids, your bond with your kids, it's like it's. I mean, I I would assume that everyone's bond with their children is very tight because it's a, an unbelievable love connection that you have with children. It's like a true unconditional love. It's not just true unconditional. It's like they they're a drug. Like they give you they give you love to the point where like. My daughter, my, my youngest, was we were playing the other day in the pool, and there was a point in time we were just laughing about something together, just laughing, and I'm looking at her face, and she's laughing, and I felt like I was on drugs. <laughs> I was like, yeah. the love that I have for these people, is so it's so intense. It's, 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 and it's also, I didn't get that when I was a kid. I didn't I know exactly you know, what you're saying, man. My parents, my, you know, my mom worked. My stepdad was a really good guy, but no one was ever around. You know, there's just, there was no, and when they were done working, everybody was tired. You know, I was a latchkey kid, you know. When, you, when I was like seven years old, I lived in San Francisco. I would go out and do a magic show on Fisherman's Wharf by myself. Just wander around the city. Just They would open the door, you'd just leave. Seven. I, I can't a, imagine that. I spent a lot of time by myself, too, because my mom was working and like you know, she was by herself. Trying to, I, trying, yeah. trying, to, like, trying to make it, trying yeah. to make sure that I had a good life. So yeah. I was just by myself, you know. Eric, if you have kids with this young lady or another young lady, your connection with that kid will be, it'll blow your fucking mind. It, I, it'll change who you are. I feel like that's what I've been lacking. That's why I've been more open to, you know, thinking about these kinds of things. You seem like a dad. Yeah. Well, because I'm, I'm looking, my, I'm picturing you a dad right but now. But my whole life I've been like, you know, I've been like that role for so many people in my life. Right. You, know? you were holding a baby and turning yeah. over drunks. I'm taking, yeah, man. I've been taking <laughs> care of people. people like pancakes. I've been taking care of people my whole life, man. It's crazy. <laughs> So that's why crazy. I always feel like I always feel like yeah I've already had uh, one of my best friends in the world is like someone that I that that's like I've I've had to take care of you know he's had a little drinking problem and mm. yeah but I've been there the whole time and I and even though people would be like you know you 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 have to like you know the, that people that think that you know you have to let them hit rock bottom and get but I, I'm just not like that yeah I've been through that too I had a very good friend of mine it's my best friend who died of heroin and uh, he was. Um, uh, always fucked up. There was always something. It was always he had a crack problem for a while, and then he got on pills, and it was he was either snorting it or it was, it was like he already lying. Very much reminds me of this guy, and and Joey Diaz did a little bit too. Mm. When I first met Joey, it was like right after my friend Johnny. Well, it was right before Johnny had died. Johnny was still alive, but I had known people like Joey because of my friend Johnny. But um, you know, it's just. I always was there for him. I was always trying to take care of him. I was always trying to help him. But it was just, it, he was always, there was always something going wrong. And it never, and, but there was these brief moments, man, where he'd be fine and we'd be laughing yeah. and we'd have the best time. And that's why you fight for it. It's those yeah, times. Because I was always, 
I was always thinking that one day he was going to get it together. I the same thing with my friend. It's like it's still going on with me right now. It's like you know, you know, when you have when you deal with someone that deals with depression, real depression, yeah. you know, lost his mother and you know, and how that affected his whole life. And it's yeah. like, so I'm there and he's younger than me. So I, I feel this mentorship and I just feel like a loyalty that I just can't shake. Right. So I, you know, so that's that. And I know when I, so when I go to therapy, I, I, I want to ask, why am I this way? Right. You know? And then I realize that comedy has been dampering my own depressions or my own uh, feelings. Cause I feel like I'm dealing with it in some way. So sometimes I go and talk about things and I talk about things in a way I just know holds bar because I, I want to, I want to get this out. Right. Hey, I feel like this, you know, or, or if I don't like something and, and then combine that with, we live in a society right now where people don't want to necessarily hear an opinion that is not theirs. Well, there's definitely a little of that, right? And so then therefore we get this, like, it, it becomes, it's, it's tougher and tougher to do what we do, but it's not going to stop me from doing it. But it's, it's sweeter and sweeter when you pull it off. You know, especially yes, if you pull off man. some controversial shit. Yeah, you just got to navigate the waters. That's a little bit exactly careful. what I feel like I've been I've been doing, and I think I did it with this special. I think I I tried to talk about things in a way where I was like, okay, you may not agree, but you don't have to vilify me. You right, know, you don't right. have to like you know you know. But I'm, anyway, it all goes back to like you know uh, like who we are as people because of like our our, our parents. You know, right. you know, and it's like I my I love my mom. I love my stepdad. Stepdad's a great guy. I'm glad he's in my mom's life. You know, they're off in Spain right now they moved to Spain like a like I say like a year and a half ago and so they're there you know and uh, I'm, I'm happy that she's happy in the later part of her life that's awesome